on the breakfast club i know they know the difference okay mama d accuses bambi and her mother of going to jail for fraud multiple times mama d give it up all right <laughs> meek mill willing to die over dj academics beef act call him freak mill what, Meek Mill, come on now. This is it. I ain't going even going in there. Why are you willing to die? Please. What happened to prison reform? Prison reform, please. Now, I will say, I did see some funny stuff on the internet yesterday. They said that uh, Diddy getting everybody in, involved in a Frico, a Frico case. They catching Frico case. Don't ever be willing to die. <laughs> I agree with that. Jada Pinkett Smith wants Willow to have a relationship like hers. Which one, please? Uh-uh. Which one? Like one with Will or one with Tupac or one with... Could you stop? Why no. Jesus, just... Why is sister? that a headline? No. Jesus. That's no. your Baltimore sister. Yeah, she is a Baltimore aunt. And Don't Will, do that. And, and Will is a great human. I would yeah, love for is. one of my daughters to bring Man, home a Will Smith. But all right, let Will type. have her own. You know, that's fine. I bet you would. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but maybe you okay. wouldn't. You don't know. Come on now. Stop. We don't know them people like that. All right, Bradley Cooper admits it took eight months to really love his daughter. Um, Bradley Cooper recently appeared on the Armchair Expert podcast. And these podcasts, they, they get funnier and funnier and more interesting and weird to me because he spoke on struggling to find a connection with his daughter uh, when she was first born. Please I remember you. the first time I realized, because everyone's like, I would die in a second for my kid. I'm always like, if I'm being honest, uh, I don't know. Like the first yeah. like eight months, I'm like, I don't even know if I really love the kid. We don't know her yet. It's dope. <laughs> It's cool. I'm watching this thing morph. No, oh, shut up, Bradley. Not you talking to like what is that she? That sounds a car? crazy. Yeah, it's like she talk like like it's a car or something. Yeah, I didn't know it was that. I, if he was to say, you know, he didn't have a connection yet, right? I would understand that as a father, right? No. To say you didn't love the child at eight months is insane. Absolutely. Because fathers do not have. Shut up, Envy. You got we, you got six kids. I got four. You do not. You fathers do not have the connection mothers have in the first eight months. It's impossible. No, you don't have the same connection, but you still have a connection. For nine months, the baby's sucking off the breast still. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The mm -hmm. baby always want to be in your arms. Mm -hmm. It does take a while for a father and child to develop that connection the way mm -hmm. the mother and child. No, you'll never have a connection day, that though. the mother will have, though. You'll never have that connection, mm -hmm. but you have a connection, absolutely, positively. Absolutely. As soon yeah, you as have the, a connection. you have a connection to the baby, I, I'm, I'm assuming as a father, uh, while child. it's still in your woman's belly, like at this point, at some point. I don't like, think like the mother, though. Okay. I mean, you can no, do never, like, like never like the mother. We're not never. take it take away from the mother. Just you being that that child's father. Correct. And you expect, especially if you want the baby. Anyway, listen. So this is what he said because he after after a while that feeling went away. And then all of a sudden, I love that honesty. By the way, that's my experience. That's a lot of people's, I think, and they're afraid to say that. I mean, my experience was totally that. And then all of a sudden, it's like no question. I first, I just like who's the woman? What are you talking about? Like you think. <laughs> You know, a lot of people are afraid to say that. First of all, a lot of things don't need to be said when that it comes to true. your children because these humans have to grow up and be your age. And look at that. You know what I'm saying? So I hope for God she don't have children that actually heard that because it sounds like she was like a little in agreement. But everything does not have to be said. Well, and there's too many microphones around for that, Jess. I know, right? Yeah, too, a lot of yeah, equipment but, is being sent But it doesn't even out. make sense what he's saying because, like you said, just fathers have a connection. If you're in your child's life, you have a connection. You'll never have a connection like the mom. That connection will never happen. Right. But you have a connection. You feed your child. You hold your child. You change your child's pampers. You have that connection. To say, Apparently, I, I didn't know I, I loved say, her, I though. I didn't even know if I loved kids, her. I'm watching kids. it grow, and, and I'm seeing it, it. morph <laughs> into this thing. What are you talking yeah, about? When he, when, he, when he says things like he didn't love his child, that's strange. Yeah. If he would have just said, if he would have just said, you know, I, I had to develop a connection yes. with my child, I yes. absolutely would have understood that. Absolutely. Because, you know, salute to all the fathers who are very active in their child's lives in the first eight, nine months. I don't know if that's the majority of us. No, that's the, women, the women are doing way more. Okay. Than we are. Now, moving on. Dr. Umar and Lil Yachty debate on who's responsible for BBLs taking over. Now, at first, the, the, I know the headline is kind of like, what? And I was about to be a throwaway, too. But after hearing them debate about it, I agree with both of them. You think women got the BBLs more to impress their girlfriends I didn't say more. than to be viewed as attractive as a man? I didn't say more, but I do think there's Which women. Which one leads? I think it's just for self-esteem. I think sometimes women look in the mirror. Did you hear what he just said? But not for what? But for them, self esteem, for them, Yachty! Right, for themselves, though. It don't have to be for another okay, man. Okay, but why is the self esteem low without the BBL? It could be based on your friends. No, it's based on the values of the culture and the society in which they live. And we gotta admit something, black men. We have sexually objectified the black woman into a sexual instrument. And you know why this hurts me? Who's the number one sex trafficking victim in America right now, Yachty? Oops. Teenage black girls. I know that. 12 to 17. 
Mm. They both right. They are definitely both right mm-hmm. because I can even attest to that. I have a friend who, after I got like my fat transfer, which you know, which is the same thing as a BBL. I just was wasn't calling it that until everybody was like BBL, BBL. Mm-hmm. All right, I got a BBL, and I got my boobs done. Um, after I got that done. She, who has always had a problem with her body, she always thought that she resembled a boy because her breasts were flat, but never had no hips, no, no, you know, no butt, nothing. She wanted it even more than another one of our friends got it done, and she wanted it even more. That wasn't even to impress a man. That was to impress herself when she looked in the mirror. Mm. She always thought, like, even as a 16-year-old, like, yo, I, I don't like the way I look, so she would always wear baggy clothes. You know what I'm saying? And then there's the other side of it, where, mm-hmm. do you, where a lot of women do want to appeal to a man. You know what I'm saying? And that's both why sides, I get it. So right? I agree with both sides. Um, we need more body positivity. Like, absolutely. You, you know, just, 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 you, need to, you should love every shape. Yeah, and there are you know? things that exist like bodily dysmorphia where people keep on working on themselves and working on themselves and they think as long as they do that, they'll be satisfied. But those people never end up satisfied. And, and, and we need to hear from more uh, men or just people who, yeah. who love the thin women. Who yeah, love yeah, yeah, the natural the, bodies. The, the, just, just the bigger natural. women, you know what yeah, I mean? Like. The, which right. are natural bodies, That's right. you know? BBL should stand for Big Back Love. So for Absolutely. everybody out there who has Big Back <laughs> Love. Oh, no, seriously, if you're a lover of, of Big Back you, people. You are, listen, listen, I have another story. And we, we I dare you, don't say another thing oh, you, about oh, look, a Big Back. He's look, rapping. don't swear no, to finger. Go, Jess, go, I'm Jess. Rapping. Ignore him, Jess, ignore him. Look, Terrence <laughs> Howard ordered to pay over 900000 in back taxes. Over nine years, Terrence racked up a 578000 debt with, um, dollar debt with the IRS. And over that time, over over the course of time of him not paying it, it was interest and other penalties yep. included. So now it's over 900000 mm. And the Justice Department uh, sued him in 2022. But he reportedly sent them a voice message refusing to pay it, yo. And it said 400 years of forced labor. He's talking about slavery here. Oh boy. And never receiving any compensation for it. Now you have the gall to try to prosecute and charge taxes to descendants of a broken people that you are responsible for the cause for the causing the breakage. And then he left another message because they ain't responded to that. they like, give us the money. He's so then he called back and said, in truth, the entire United States should, by default, become the property of the descendants of slaves. But since you do not have the ability or the courage to do it, let's try this in court. We're going to bring you down. Who? I do agree with him that the descendants of slaves should not have to pay taxes just because mm. that should be some type of form of reparations for us. I really wish mm. right? it happened. Mm. But I hate the headline that everybody's running with where they're saying Terrence Howard gets hit with tax whatever after making the comments. No, he had that before. Yeah, that, that's something. That <laughs> that's he, why he made the comments. That's why he made the comments. <laughs> yes. And then yes. not we're going to bring you down. Yes. No, sir, they're going to bring you down in court if you don't pay them yeah, the money. Pay, he's going to jail. That's true. Yeah, so I just wanted to make that known, y'all. But that is just with the mess with the second hour. And her news is real, allegedly. Mm-hmm. And didn't Wesley Snipes have the same thing? He didn't want to pay and they, they locked him up too, right? That yeah, but he same... ain't throw slavery at nobody. Oh, he ain't throw slavery. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, Charlamagne, who you giving your donkey to? Man, let's talk about this greedy ass capitalist society that we live in man we need uh gary what's gary's last name gary pil pilnick he's the ceo of kellogg's he needs to come in front of congress we'd like to have a word with him <laughs> all right we'll get to that next it's the breakfast club good morning wake that ass up in the morning the breakfast club